uh, sort of, oh, 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 crinoid swimming on the right. He was booking it. Wow. He was going pretty fast. Oh, yeah. there he goes. He settled down. Knows. This is this is really cool if we can zoom in on this Provide and watch it. Yeah. It's creepy. It looks like a deep sea monster. Look at him. Oh, come now. This is a war of the worlds again right here. Look at this. Look at look. It's beautiful. It is kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see sponges swimming through the yeah, the, the water with the greatest of ease. This is actually kinda cool because so crinoids, feather stars I should say. Um, the ancestors of these animals were stocked animals, and it's thought that sea urchins were actually predators on these and um, and sort of encouraged this escape response because There's people no thought that they might have been escaping from fish, but it makes no sense to escape into fish because if you jump up and swim, they, um, they just become fish food. But it does make sense if they're escaping from sea urchins uh, because sea urchins can't swim. Um, but uh, the other one we saw had uh, nice uh, some ulimid uh, snails on the arms as well. So that was some uh, s swimming feather star urchin and or feather star action and uh, parasite on the arm action as well.